So when it comes to a website, there's many different elements that go into it. From the content that's written onto it to a platform like WordPress that it's built on and setting that up to the theme that it uses, uh, to the domain name as we discussed in the last lesson. But another major component we have to look at is the uh, web hosting. A website needs what is called a host, which is usually a company that allows you to store your own website on the provider's servers, make it accessible to everyone on the internet 24 seven. So let's go through the different types of web hosting. First of all, you need to understand that there are different, several different types of hosting um, and they're relevant at different stages of your site. First off, we have shared web hosting. Your website is hosted on the same server with a dozen or even hundreds of other websites with different customers and different domains. This is usually the most affordable option because the cost is spread out over many customers. You can usually choose between two plans for uh, one site or unlimited sites, for example. Uh, our best recommendation is to always go with the unlimited site plan in case you want to add more sites in the future. The second option is a VPS or a virtual private server for your web hosting. You're still sharing the same server but with a lot fewer websites and resources are allocated a lot more in your favor proportionally to what you've paid. This allows you for more power and flexibility than being on a shared account. Next up we have dedicated web hosting. This is the most advanced and costly option as you're basically renting the whole server for yourself. In this case you're allowed to have access to all resources available on that machine. And lastly, we have managed web hosting. This gives you the power and scalability of a VPS or dedicated web hosting without having to manage the server on your own. This is our most favorite option for high traffic websites. So what's the right type of web hosting for you? You don't wanna waste money on something you don't need, for example, but you also don't want your website crashing. Well, for starter websites, a shared web hosting account is enough because you're not getting a lot of traffic. So it also saves you some money, so you can expect to pay between $8 to $10 a month for an unlimited site plan. Usually you'll need to move your site to either managed, VPS, or dedicated web hosting once you reach 100,000 plus visitors a month. So let's go through how to choose a good web hosting provider. There are hundreds of web hosting providers, and the best ones have three important features. Number one, amazing customer support. They should always be available via online chat and emails whenever you need, and they have to know what they're doing. The last thing you want is your website to go down in the middle of the night, and the customer support takes days to respond to your emails and your phone calls, and they don't even understand what's going on, and they don't help you at all. Uh, it can be a total nightmare if the support is bad. As a real life example of this, I initially hosted my website with Bluehost. Their support is horrible. I don't recommend them. Then later I switched to a much better hosting provider who had amazing support with instant feedback on everything and tons of guidance, unlimited kind of guidance through anything you needed. It was amazingly night and day difference. Uh, spent countless hours banging my head against the table when things went wrong with Bluehost. But then as soon as I was on a host with good support, things got so much easier. Another thing you want to look for is fast loading speeds and reliable uptime, uh, you know, 99.99% .99 of the time uptime. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory and it's pretty common across most hosts, although a lot of times they'll claim that and it's not exactly true, but uh, of course you want your website to be as fast as possible and not to go down and crash. And lastly, you want an easy to use user interface. This is pretty important as well because a good web host should be easy to use for the average person, even if they're not technical. And again, this will save you a lot of headache later in case you need to make any changes. So we've tested literally dozens of web hosting providers in our years of building websites. And based on the above criteria, the best ones are Site5, which is best for starter sites. It's 119 bucks a year for unlimited sites. And you can go there through amzaffiliatebootcamp.com slash go slash site five. Also, another great option is Traffic Planet Hosting. This is best for high traffic websites. It's about 250 bucks a year for up to five sites. And you can get access to it through amzaffiliatebootcamp.com slash go slash traffic planet hosting. Awesome, so already in this module, we've gone through creating your domain name and setting up your hosting. In the next lesson, we'll walk you through setting up your site in WordPress.